destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer's heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. Hey, guys. Keep collecting power cells. They're the key to continuing our journey north. Great balls of eco. There seems to be a large lurker presence in the spider caves. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. There are spiders in the spider caves, right? Of course there are spiders in spider caves. But that's the least of your problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it! Seek the pure light, for within its flame, the answers reside. You can gain my power cells by bringing 120 precursor orbs for each. You have obtained another power cell. For your effort, a power cell is the reward. Hey, Gordy, duh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through? Uh, us too. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! Actually, we want power cells, not gems. We got four of them! Do you want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is, we may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Oh, oh, yeah, I got it this time. Uh, here's a... Uh, here's a... A power cell! Yeah. Yeah, what he said! That's it! You cleaned us out! No more power cell! Why don't you two make yourselves useful? Lurkers have been excavating the dark caves over there. Seems they're looking for precursor artifacts. They can have the artifacts for all I care. For all we care? Well, I'd feed you, bird. All I care about are gems! But I ain't gonna be able to get the cave's gems, cause when they're through, they're gonna collapse the place. If you take out the lurkers chewing at the support beams, you could save the cave for me. Now beat it! Psst! Guys, uh, Birdie and I was exploring a cave you'd like. It was filled with pretty orange metal and hidden real good behind some trees in the snowy mountains. I told Gordy, but he just yelled at me for not digging. Why aren't you digging? I'm sorry.
has a limit. It will now withstand temperatures up to 800 degrees, but no more. So keep an eye on your gauge. I don't want to think about what those temperatures would do to your zoomer if the shield gives out. Yeah, the heat. What? The zoomer? Hey, what about us? Don't you think we could look for a safer route to go, Citadel? Look, I've released more cooling balloons into the tube, so you can use them to keep the temperature down. And don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Yellow Sage's lab. We're counting on you. Hey! Where's old short, green, and wrinkly? This is terrible! Father is missing! I think Gaul and Maya may have kidnapped him as well. Relax, sweetheart. I got everything under control. Under control? Lurker armies continue to grow across the land. The sages have been kidnapped. Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan. And to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Uh, yeah. That about uh, sums it up. You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack, be careful. Yeah, we will be. It's about time you two decided to show up. Nice to see you, too. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Dexter. Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the dark eco silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world. Good work, fellows! Old Samus was right about you! Great piles of precursor metal! That insidious mechanical creation must not be allowed to wreak its terrible havoc! I will try to actuate the shield door by eliciting a conduit of energy between myself and the vast portal below! Uh, yeah. You do that. We'll, uh, just go find more help. surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, great. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Gaul to help Dexter. You two great save us. Once I possess limitless dark ego, I will have a key to creation itself. This is madness. Releasing that much dark ego will destroy everything we know. Just look what it's done to you. It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the silos, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two traveled all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your front row seats to the recreation of the world! <laughs> <laughs> 